The National Museum is situated in Kinshasa, right beside the People's Palace. It houses cultural and historical relics of the Congolese people. The museum was opened to the public on the 23rd of November 2019 by President Felix Shikedi. I hope I got the name right. about a, a, a woman in the traditional society, the consideration, who was a woman, her, how was a woman considered in the traditional society. So for us, it was important to start by explaining who was a woman, who is a woman in our understanding, in our, in our Congolese society. And the pending statue summarizes the meaning of a woman in our culture. The woman is somebody who has the hammer in the right hand. Having the hammer in the right hand means the one who has power. You may be president in our country, yet your power belongs to the woman. If you rule so well, we don't give you credit. We give credit to your wife. You say, this president has got a very, uh, very good, good wife. wife. If you're ruling very bad, we don't say you are a very bad king. We say you are a very, uh, you have a very bad life. And this is why, you know, in today's life, when there's a problem, a social problem somewhere, we don't cry SOS to the president. We cry to the first lady. So because we believe that what the first lady decides, the president will finally uh, done it. On the left hand, we have the baby. And if you look carefully, the way that this woman is carrying the baby, she's carrying the baby with so lot of attention. And we say a woman is somebody who gives life and protects it at the same time. So, in our understanding, a woman is somebody who has power, is somebody who gives life and protects it. The first initiation was exclusively kept for the mother. It was the mother who was supposed to initiate the children for the first time. How she did it? She did it with small weight. Because for us, small weight, the weight has power. Yes. And the mother, while doing uh, small things with the baby, she could be like saying, you are going to be the most beautiful. You are only the king that will uh, marry. marry you. You are going to be the very intelligent guy. This yes. is the initiation itself. Mm -hmm very very powerful our societies our cultures were very powerful guys like every single thing he's saying here resonates with me and the things that happen in other african um, societies and cultures as well the fact that words are very powerful and you know words were used to to you know convey blessings prophecies and curses at the same time so it was important to always use the words very carefully okay when a child reaches 13 up to 17 years, 
the child doesn't belong anymore to the mother. The child becomes the child of the society. Hmm. And this is why the child that the child was supposed to call anyone who had the age of his father, his dad, anyone who had the age of his uh, mother, his mother, his, his mom, mom, mama. He had become the child of the society. Yes. The society was supposed to gather for the children between 13 up to 17, gather them and take them to the bush for the initiation. This, the bush can be uh, compared to the school today. Mm -hmm. It is in this bush that they will teach the young boys about manhood. Mm -hmm. They will teach the young about how to behave in the society, how to build the house, how to take care of your family. And during this formation, during this training, they don't use books. They don't use whatever modern material, but they use masks. Everything goes around the masks. For instance, they would be using this mask to teach the young boys about life or the reality of life. They could tell them that young person, the life is made of the white color and the black color. The white color means in your life, you will have to be happy. There will be moments in which you will be feasting, in which you will be like uh, enjoying, but at the same time, you will also cry. All of the two colors are part of life. You have to know how to manage. Mm -hmm. At the same time, these masks, they are called Mbangu. What? Mbangu. Mbangu. Yes. Mbangu, Mbangu masks reminds the young boys that in the society you are going to be you are not going to be alive you are going to meet people who will be different from you you are going hmm. to meet people with disabilities hmm. you should accept them as they are yes. you should respect them they are part of the community they never decided to be different mm -hmm. it is the law of the nature yes at the same time they could also use the mask that we call uh, suku ember. That mask would be used to encourage the young ones in their lives. Whatever problem you meet, whatever difficulty that you meet, you have to stay courageous like the leopard, not the leopard on the head. Yes. The leopard is always courageous, doesn't give up easily. So during this formation, we we'll notice that the masks are made of different parts of the environment. Mm. We have like the part of the forest, we have the part of the, the animals and so on. Because they are part of the community, yes. during the initiation, they are also participating. They are also bringing something in the education of, of the young people who were supposed to be called men in the future. Mm. These ones, these boys that were undergoing the training, they were supposed to run political position. They were supposed to be called one day leaders. Mm -hmm. So before taking charge of those positions, they were supposed to know the qualities of a good leader. leader. And mm. the quality of a good leader are summarized in the mask, in the mask that we see them, the pending mask. We call it Fumbo mask. That fumbo mask. Fumbo mask, yes. That this is the Fumbo mask. The Fumbo mask summarizes the quality of a good leader. What uh, should have a big nose to smell properly, long ears to hear properly, yet a small mouth. A big leader doesn't speak too much. He has a small mouth, but he sees properly, he, he hears properly, and perceives smells. well. Yes. That a good leader. So that he can pass the accurate judgment. Exactly. Oh, interesting. You know, the way you've explained these masks, mm. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like I can accept masks in terms of even touching them and maybe even putting them on. But before now, I've always perceived masks as evil. Like, 
evil thinks that I exactly. shouldn't even go close to. Exactly. This is the mindset that we are trying to change with our new generation. You know, all of us, anytime that we hear about masks, we are like listening about devil, witchcraft, witchcraft now, evil. You know what they call witchcraft in the understanding of the traditional society is the harmony of society. Our ancestors knew how to be in harmony with the society. They considered nature as part of them. Hmm. They considered nature as uh, the member of the community. This is why our ancestors could not destroy it like trees. Yes, and yes. They knew which kind of tree was supposed to be cut and which one. Mm -hmm. They knew which kind of animal was supposed to be killed mm -hmm. and, uh, and which were. Very interesting. I'm learning a lot. Like, I'm so happy I came here. And this is beautiful. This initiation is like you're going out of your university. It's like mm -hmm. graduating. But the difference is, in our modern society, when you graduate, you have to go now for looking the job. Yes. You have to look for your job before getting married. This uh, talks about the arrival of Christian religion. The Christian religion arrived in Congo around the 15th century. But before the arrival of the missionaries, before the arrival of the Christian religion, our ancestors knew God. They were praying. They knew that God existed. But when Christian arrived, they started living together, meaning there, the Christian religion and our uh, traditional beliefs. The two will generate a lot of religion, a lot of confusion. Let's see this statue number five. This one summarizes the acceptance of Christian religion. When Christian religion arrives, the people accepted it. Like the Bible says, ask and you will be given. Uh, no, the door will be open. Will, uh, the, Seek the, the, will find. The door will be open for you. Those on top of the cross are the people who asked and still wait. They are still waiting up to now. They never got what they asked for. While they were still waiting, other people kept on coming and asking. So, at the same time, it is a kind of like doubt getting now in the religion. Mm. People will start doubting now the Christian religion. Saying, I, I asked and I never got mm. what I needed. All of the sudden, the people will start looking for a new religion. When they go to another religion, if they don't get, they go for another religion. And this is the things that they will have a lot of religions because people are not satisfied whenever they ask for the things. Okay. This is why whenever the king passed on, it was supposed to be known by the surrounding villages. Because if you don't bury the king with honor, he may come back, incarnate in an animal, and do you harm things. So yeah, he was supposed to be buried with honor, buried with his belongings, hmm. together with his servant alive. They were buried with their king. And these servants were happy. Because for them, they were going to be uh, working for the king in the other world. So, but for the ordinary people, whenever they passed on, they were just buried with the things that they lacked much. This is the case with some of our ancestors in the Congo Kingdom. When they passed on, they were buried with the things that they got as present from their friends. Whenever the king is passing on, it was supposed to be written so that we announce to the people that the king is passing come and greet him. At the same time, it would also be used to announce important message like the birth of the twins and so forth. So we are through with this floor. We, we have one more exhibition hall left where he's going to explain more to me. I'm learning a lot, like I've said, and I'm just so happy that I came to the museum here because. 
I mean, this has only shown me that we are one people, we are the same, and I'm so glad that I, I'm always lucky to get a very good tour guide. My brother is so knowledgeable, well knowledge about the history and the culture of the Congo people, and you know, it's easy for me to understand it because he's speaking English, the language that our colonizers are forced on us to speak, so I'm so happy. Let's continue watching and go to the last exhibition hall. We have displayed them without any order. We have mingled all of these ethnics to show the national cohesion, to show our unity, meaning each ethnic is free and should be comfortable to sit next to any ethnic of their choice. So we have displayed them up and down to show the Congolese river. The Congolese river goes through the whole country. And for us, Congolese river is our uh, symbol. It is our common ground. All of us benefit from the Congo uh, river. So the Congo river becomes the, the, uh, the origin of all of these ethnics. Yes. Okay. And this is our last exhibition. It is called the special exhibition, temporary exhibition hall, in which we are going to discover the collections that were used for entertainment, at the same time used as means of communication. Okay. So let's... So these collections here are displayed according to their categories. We have displayed all of them according to the musical frameworks. We start with these ones. These we use like an uh, announcement. They could use a word to summon people. Whenever uh, a king wanted to talk to his people, one could go uh, the, uh, the choir of the village would use one of these objects to invite the people to a meeting that was supposed to be uh, led by the king. At the same time, this was also used as the word of us to okay. announce for instance that tomorrow is a very dangerous rain will happen or a strong wind will pass by. So you should be careful. We also use this object. Right. And here we have entertainment objects. These were just for entertainment, accompanying ceremony, hmm. funeral, wedding, and so forth. These ones were used. And here we have drums. Each drum has got its own specific sound because of the shape that each one is put because of the animal skin that we put on top and at the same time because of the type of the tree that we use to shape the drum mm. and it sounds refers to a specific ceremony so this allows the people to identify the ceremony even from afar wherever they may by listening to the drum they may say it is a wedding let go it is a funeral let go we have the collections for personal use. This may be compared to the headphones today. Okay. Whenever we want to be alone or we want to activate our work, we put on the headphones. Mm -hmm. So in the traditional society, they didn't have headphones. They had the collections that we call the melaphone. These are like small uh, pianos mm -hmm. that one could use as a friend, yeah. as uh, a companion. Companion. And uh, lonely. Yeah. Use these ones. At the same time, uh, a griot could also use it. A what? A griot. Griot. Like okay. 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 Yeah. Use it to tell stories. Yes. A storyteller. Yes. Use also this one. Well, whenever they play it, yes. then they are like remembering uh, the story. Nice.
our African societies were very advanced before the colonizers came. We were advanced. We had our way of life, everything functional. So here we, we may see uh, a kind of traditional piano. Hmm. So this can be called a piano because it has got everything that a modern piano has. Hmm. It has it. And then we have the object that one may use while playing and dancing at the same time. Mm -hmm. It is like an inclusive uh, musical instrument. instrument. It allows to the player to also uh, show oh. a, a step of dance. Okay. Guys, so uh, one of the good things about this museum is the fact that I get to also touch this instrument. I'm going to play it. How cool is that? So here how I'm going to play and the sound I'll make. absorbing all of this history and I still want more but hey time is not on our side so we have to go if you've enjoyed this video the way I've enjoyed it and I've dropped so well drop a comment like make sure you share this video it has to go wide and if you've not visited Congo you have to visit Congo come visit Kinshasa it's so beautiful this place will give you much more than you can even and I pay just $10 very little amount. You can afford that and experience with me too for a lifetime. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>